So in this video, we're going to construct a line that is parallel to the given line, which is right here. This given line is parallel to this line, but that parallel line has to pass through point P. So in your head, you should be visualizing a line that will be parallel here. We're going to use a compass and a straight edge to do that. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a line that's going to pass through the given line and the point P. Back in our parallel lines unit, this was called this was called a transversal. So somewhere here I'm going to draw, take my straight edge, I'm going to rotate it here, and I'm going to make sure it passes through my line as well as it passes through my point. And I'm going to draw that transversal passing through point P and my line. So after the first step of drawing a transversal through point P, now we're going to use our knowledge of another construction we've already done, which is copying an angle. And then we're going to copy an angle that's going to start, that's formed here between the transversal and the given line. And we're going to copy that angle up here with P because these two angles that we're going to form are going to have a special relationship with each other. They're going to be corresponding angles. And remember, if corresponding angles are congruent, then those lines have to be parallel. So let's go ahead then and use our construction that we know how to do a copying an angle. So the first step I'm going to do is put my point here where my transversal and given line intersect. And I'm going to draw an arc. I'm going to draw an arc of an angle that intersects both rays. So I'm going to rotate this so it intersects with both rays. I might extend this a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to draw this arc right here. It intersects twice. And without changing the span of my compass, I'm going to draw a similar size arc, maybe a little bit bigger, here starting at point P. Without changing the span, I'm going to draw another arc right there off of P. So this part, this, this uh, vertex right here, A and P, are both this vertex of at both angles. Then I'm going to go ahead and change the span of my compass to find the width to find the width of my angle here. And then without changing that span, I'll go up here and put it on the intersection of my transversal and second arc. And I'm going to draw an intersection of these two arcs. So where they intersect, I now have two points that are going to lie on my parallel line to my given line. So finally, just using my straight edge, I'm going to take, take my straight edge here and I'm going to connect the two points right there and right there and I'm going to draw a line that intersects both of those um, points. Now once we finish this we've now created a line that is parallel to the given line and we use the fact that these two ang congruent angles are corresponding which makes the lines parallel to each other.